the news updates. Bad news for Tinumbu. As IGP drops at breaking messages, exposes what was planned against him ahead of May 29th. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to this channel. For kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. So the news details, please listen carefully to the end. In a resolute statement, pardon, in a resolute statement, the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Usman Al Kali Baba, alerted the nation on Monday about a concerning development. According to the IGP, certain political elites and unpatriotic individuals are reportedly plotting to obstruct the smooth transition of power from one civilian leader to another, scheduled for May 29, 2023. These unsettling revelation raises serious concerns about the sanctity of democracy in Nigeria. The IGP, however, reassured the public that the security agencies are fully prepared to defend democracy and prevent any disruptive actions. The IGP emphasized that these alleged plans to impede the civilian to civilian and over were motivated by the dissatisfaction of certain politicians with the outcome of the 2023 elections. Disgruntled by their own defeat, these individuals have resulted to issuing public threats, potentially inciting actions that could undermine the democratic process. The Nigeria Police and National Intelligence Agencies have been closely monitoring the activities of these political elites and other elements who have shown a disregard for national security interests. Their intentions appear to involve employing undemocratic and extrajudicial means to subvert the democratic heritage of the nation. Addressing the press in Abuja, IGP Baba unequivocally stated that the police, along with other security agencies, are committed to upholding the principles of democracy and ensuring a smooth transition of power. May 29 holds immense significance as a symbol of democratic process and any attempt to disrupt this milestone event will not be tolerated. The IGP's warning echoed across the nation, cautioning those planning to instigate trouble to abandon their plans and refrain from interfering with the presidential inauguration. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, the security agencies have implemented stringent measures to safeguard the smooth transition of power. The police, in collaboration with other relevant bodies, have adopted a proactive stance to prevent any disruption or chaos during the inauguration. Security personnel have been placed on high alerts monitoring potential threats and swiftly responding to any suspicious activities. By maintaining a constant state of vigilance, law enforcement agencies aim to create an environment that upholds the principles of democracy, fostering a peaceful and stable transition. In those critical times, it is imperative for the nation to stand united 
in support of democratic values. The IGP warning serves as a reminder that the responsibility to protect democracy lies not only with the security agencies, but with every citizen. Concerning the swearing in of Ashura Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, different politicians has come up with threats just to make sure that the, the swearing in do not hold. And this their threat is just to make sure that Tinubu is not sworn in based on the fact that Tinubu did not win the presidential election. But these unpatriotic individuals and political elites are forgotten that the transition of power needs to hold even if the person is not the right person but as long as the person has been declared the winner the person needs to be sworn in so igp i told them that security measures are already on ground and they are going to make sure that the security is very tight so any personnel, anybody who felt like disrupting or interfering in the swearing-in election should come, but should know that the police are working with all the security agencies, the sister agencies, just to make sure that the smooth transition of power. And they have adopted a proactive stance. The IGP has warned them that it is not only the duty of the security personnel to protect democracy, but everybody, because we are all citizens. Anyone who is about, who have a plan, a potential plan to disrupt the civilian to civilian ad over of power on May 29, raises significant concerns about the future of democracy of Nigeria. But however, the, the agencies, are so resolute, they are committed to defend democracy that will provide reassurance to the Nigerians. And as Nigerians, it is our collective responsibility to actually support democratic processes, fostering unity and also stability during this critical period. We can reinforce the foundations of our democracy and ensure a smooth and peaceful transition of power. We have come to the end of the news. Thank you for staying tuned to the end. What's your view? Kindly share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.